<laughs> thank you so much for, first of all, taking the time to watch this video today. I just wanted to come back and say hello, uh, reintroduce myself to everyone. Um, and yeah, just to say hello again before I go into any sort of updates or whatever it else, whatever else is going on in my life, basically. So um, thank you again for spending time with me today. My name is Latoya Ramos, and I am a sustainability strategist, fashion designer, and independent perfumer. Uh, so um, for those of you who are already subscribed to my, my uh, channel, I uh, normally, in the past, I've done a lot of fragrance reviews and I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, eventually, uh, once I continued to, and continued to immerse myself into perfumery and things like that, I decided to launch a small fragrance brand um, called Hue One and Pigment. And um, it is a oil-based perfume brand uh, that I started like about a year ago and it's done decently. Um, and I adore it. I adore fragrances um, and perfumes and things like that. So that is probably what a lot of you are um, familiar with me um, already when it comes to my uh, channel. So that is part of what I have been working on. I recently took a hiatus for a few months back in the fall after um, circumstances just um, got pretty heavy um, and I had basically uh, overall just a breakdown. I was really overwhelmed like a lot of entrepreneurs and then you just have life on top of that. So I really just needed to, to take a break. Uh, one, because I needed to reground, to recalibrate, to refocus. Um, and not only, I wouldn't say pivot because I, I'm not taking, I didn't really take a pivot, but it's like, I would say definitely recalibrating, reassessing, and most importantly, healing and letting go of things. Um, and, you know, really just immersing myself in therapy um, and doing the work that's necessary. Um, at least for me, um, in my life, my situation, um, when considering the things that I want to do um, in this life. Um, and I, a lot of my time was spent talking to God um, and just really regrounding myself in my spiritual life as well. So um, in terms of updates for the channel, again, thank you so much for either watching this. Um, please subscribe. Um, I'm going to be posting a lot more um, videos for you guys, um, mostly focused around fragrances, um, sustainability and sustainability strategy, uh, and also my podcast, Susty Soul. Um, and for those of you who have not, uh, who, don't, who do not already know, um, about a year and a half ago, I launched a podcast called Susty Soul. And Susty Soul is a podcast that focuses on BIPOC entrepreneurs and activists um, and brown people of color who um, work in sustainability or um, in some way, shape or form have built uh, uh, an eco-conscious business um, or you know, they kind of work in that field um, in one way or another. And I definitely wanted to you know, create a platform where I could highlight you know, people who are really doing great things, people of color who are doing awesome things in sustainability, but you know, they don't <laughs> really get their sunshine like lots of other, other uh, industries and spaces. It's like, you, you know, it's just a lot of amazing talent out there, but not not enough people know who they are, know what they do, um, and understand clearly what they're actually contributing, which is a lot. So that is Sesti Soul. Um, you can go to SestiSoul.com to sign up for the newsletter and updates. Um, and I'll put a link below if you, you know, for, for you all to check it out um, and hopefully support um, if you'd like, um, I recently started a Patreon page for Susty Soul, and I'm going to, I'm still figuring out what, um, how to continue to pro provide value to patrons specifically. Um, I just want to make sure I create something that is not only genuine, but also um, something that, you know, people can really use, people could really value and things like that. So if you'd like, if you'd like I would love for you to check out my Patreon page. Um, I am an entrepreneur, um, solopreneur and um, your help is uh, priceless. So definitely wanted to put that out there um, as I continue to grow and walk this path and go down this journey uh, with my business. So, um, outside of the Patreon page, I am going through a rebrand for Ministry New York. And for those of you who also don't know, I uh, used to be a worship dancer. So worship dance and praise dance 
um, has a huge part of my heart. Just dance in general um, has always, uh, it's always been something that I've held really close to my heart. Um, I've danced since I was a child, but um, you know, I wasn't, uh, my parents could afford to keep me in ballet school when I was a child. So I never really continued to actively pursue dance in that way um, professionally. So, but dance has always had a close part of my heart. Um, and then I eventually, in 2010, I started Ministry New York, which is a worship dance wear brand. Right now, I took a hiatus from that um, just to really reground myself again. I think every entrepreneur is, you know, probably knows this is that, like, you know, for every few years, there's just going to be, or months, weeks, maybe, I don't know, depending on what the your situation is. But yeah, there's going to be times when you really just need to, like, really look at what kind of business you want to build, what kind of brand you want to build. And what means a lot to you, what's genuine. And I had to really look at myself and really um, look at my spiritual life as well um, when thinking about leading a brand that is um, based in spirituality. So that was something I had to really um, come to grips with and real and really not that I ever, not that I didn't take it seriously, but I had to just really pay a lot more attention to it. Um, I will be merging. Um, the fragrance brand and Ministry New York together. So over the by the around by the end of the year, um, you should see a relaunch there, and I'm very very excited about that. Um, I'm just so thankful to God that I um, I don't know it just makes so much sense to me. Um, it was a long time coming, and um, through getting really quiet and really just um, going in solitude, um, essentially, I you know I just heard God's voice a lot clearer heard my heart a lot clearer and my intuition a lot clearer. And I think that is very, very important for people to, I think for everyone to do for in their own way. Um, and that's what I did. And um, yeah, that's the plan at the moment for that. And um, I'm currently working very hard and uh, for the rebrand. So that um, is one of the things that I'm working on. And I'll start to talk about that on the channel um, over time. Um, as you know, more relevant things um, come up and there's things I feel like I really want to share. So um, outside of that, um, I'm not sure if a lot of you have uh, really paid attention to some of my um, fragrance videos, but I would oftentimes bring up sustainability. Um, so for those of you who don't know, I'm, I know I always say that, but it's just like, I never assume people know. And I know that, you know, I, my following is not like hot, hot and huge or anything like that. So I'm just like, oh, you know, you know. Um, but yeah, I, um, I went to grad school at Columbia for sustainability. Um, I am a sustainability strategist and I started a small consulting studio called Pluricore and uh, where I provide clients with sustainability strategy and impact assessments and things like that. Um, but that is uh, the bulk of what I do with Pluricor. Um, I will leave the link below if you'd like to inquire, just to really look at the services and things like that, just to see what it is we offer and um, how we could help you build out your strategy when it comes to sustainability. Sustainability is very, very hard. Um, it's stressful, um, especially with all of the things that you're hearing now with climate change and toxicity and all of that, all that stuff. So it's just, it's a lot um, to take in. And I think one of the key things to understand about sustainability, if you are starting a sustainable, a sustainable business um, or eco-conscious business, you just really have to be honest and be honest that it's hard. And what I help clients do is basically identify their strengths. So, and then capitalize on that um, when it comes to their communications with sustainability and also uh, sort of goal setting and really mapping out their impact and just seeing the areas that they can really, really make an impact um, without having to invest way too much money yet, just yet, at least in the start, but really just looking at what they do well and how they can make the greatest impact there. And then we work from there. So yes, please feel free to reach out if you are interested. Um, if you just like to inquire, just to see you know, how it might work for you in your business or organization and or if you would like to work with me. Um, uh, so yeah, yeah, I, I love helping people get through that um, and really guiding them through along that process. So definitely feel free to reach out if you would like to inquire more. Um, but yeah, that is overall what is going on with me right now. And um, 
again, thank you for listening to this video. I will link all the links down below. And um, yeah, I will be back on here a lot more. You'll hear a lot more from me. But truly though, for real, like I really hope everyone is doing okay. Times are, especially the past year, it's just been a mess for a lot of people, um, whether it's grief, loss, um, pain, losing this, that, and the third, businesses, homes, jobs, livelihoods, confidence, every, everything, um, but just sadness, you know, depression, suicides, it's, it's just a lot. Um, it's, a, it's a lot of stuff. It's incredibly heavy. So I hope that um, I could be a resource for when it comes to the things that I do and hopefully um, my content can it just keep you inspired and uplifted and um, you can just walk away with, you know, just time well spent. Um, and yeah, definitely high vibes over here. That's what I'm claiming for my life now. Um, with God being the head of my life, I, you know, I'm just going to continue to strive to work towards that and just work towards um, just living a high vibrational lifestyle people, relationships, everything. So sending good vibes your way, um, truly, um, to everyone. Blessings, enlightenment, um, love, peace, peace and joy. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, that's my truth. That's how I feel. And that's what I definitely want to put forth with this channel. Um, but blessings to everyone. And I truly hope that you guys will strive to stay well. And if it's hard, that's okay. Just, just take it day by day. It's all a process. Don't be hard on yourself, um, but just encourage yourself, put your arms around yourself, tell yourself that you love yourself. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna just leave it at that. You'll hear a lot more from me, but until then everyone love and like. <laughs>